Hi everyone, this is Chrissy Hughes again with your third section of this pre-deployment. We are Life Skills Educator at Fleet and Family Support Center in San Diego. Um, we're starting today with uh, communication. So we want to talk about communication and how it's going to be different during a deployment, both for the sailor and for the family members back at home. We want to make sure that we have a lot of open communication, that we express our feelings, um, that we um, discuss our expectations with regards to um, communication, address any changes that are happening at home or work or anything else with us personally, um, and then determine the methods that are best for us and then um, let them also know what ship's communication looks like. Um, for those seasoned deployers, you might know what River City is, you might know that there be, will be long periods of communication, and you might have the coping skills to deal with that. Those who are new to deployment, um, we've always been able to get a hold of our parents, we might have always been able to talk with our children, um, we might communicate daily with our significant other, um, but that'll be interrupted. Um, Myself as a spouse, I actually learned uh, through trial and error that I usually during a long separation am okay with the phone, but I don't like it as the main method. I actually prefer to write things down in an email. Um, I have also have some crazy miscommunication stories, um, but one of the things that I want to kind of draw attention to is that when we can't communicate or we're not receiving anything back, it's okay to continue to send that communication as family members. Um, and then the other thing we wanna probably look into is um, talking about uh, when I'm not getting the communication I need. Um, how am I going to deal with that? Um, let them know that it's not because I don't wanna just, I don't wanna talk with you, I'm not trying to punish you. Um, so the example that I like to give is that I one time as a young, significant other um, during a separation. I was sending email after email and I went from feeling uh, uh, confused to being hurt and then being angry. And then when my significant other reached out when I was angry, I just suddenly was not available to take the phone call anymore. Um, and that was not actually the best way for me to effectively communicate. It was actually use, using my power and control in that moment um, to hurt my significant other when I was hurt myself. Um, so don't be like me. Um, make sure you have those conversations back and forth so that you know what, what communication will look like and that you can communicate in the best way for your family members. Um, the other thing that I want to bring up with regards to um, with regards to communication is just remind everyone about OPSEC, the operational security, um, when you are communicating. Generally, we want to make sure that uh, we are not basically saying anything that we wouldn't want anyone to hear. Um, if you don't have family members that know much about OPSEC, um, one of the things that I will tell you is that the Navy does have an OPSEC app. It just looks like this in the App Store. You can download that and send it to your family members and they can learn a little bit more about what OPSEC is and why it's important. Um, I would say generally for family members, um, it's okay to talk about things that happened in the past. We don't wanna talk about things that are coming up. That can be um, a big red flag. And uh, we don't ever wanna be the reason, sailors or family members, that someone doesn't get their port visit or doesn't get to see family because they've made a poor decision. Um, so these are some of the things that um, OBSEC-wise apply to everyone. So make sure that you're not talking about any of these items. All right, if you have any more questions about that, you can just reach out to us. Um, I'm gonna cover next uh, communicating with children during a deployment and then um, some general resources. So look back for us in a little bit. Thank you. Bye.